poco a poco. Oh my god, guys, look at that. That's my foot. And that is like a 150 foot cliff that I'm about to rappel down. Sometimes I forget that I have a fear of heights. And then I get to places like this and I realize that I think I just pooped my pants. We just got to this uh, natural park called Orcuyola. One of the main themes of today's video is about contrast. Right now we're gonna go to a viewpoint and uh, learn a bit more about the early roots of Basque mythology, uh, in particular, the mother goddess named Mari. The plan is pretty cool. We're gonna be hiking up into these foggy, misty hills to a cave that has some mythological significance. And there, we're going to be repelling down into the darkness, into the unknown. Time is a similar uh, a Mari. Mari is the the mother of the earth. Okay, so Pachamama. Pachamama. <laughs> Pachamari. 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 Cuando quieres ir a ver a Mari, hay que tener clara unas reglas. Primero, ir si estás invitado, y si no, ir con cuidado. Se supone que en su cueva hay objetos de oro, y si lo coges se convierte en una piedra. Y en cambio, si Mari te regala una piedra, puede que al salir se convierta en oro. ¿Y hay gente que todavía cree en eso? Sí, la gente sigue creyendo mucho en la actualidad. Even though bats are not necessarily pagan or animist today, there's still a huge respect for nature here. People love the outdoors. And we're only 30 kilometers from Bilbao, which is one of the major industrial cities in the north. So one of my favorite things to do back when I lived in the Basque Country was to go trail running up in the mountains and in the forest, but I never got anywhere as amazing, remote, and beautiful as this. Listo? Guys, we ready? We're doing it. Next up on our Basque bucket list, rappelling off the edge of this cliff down into this cave. It's probably about 150 feet, maybe 50 meter rappelling. And what an incredible location, you guys. This way. Okay. Come on, me veo. Muy guapo. Muy guapo. Okay. Bueno. Okay. It's not that far down. I know Alex is gonna love this though. You're about to get the biggest wedgie of your life. <laughs> <laughs> This cave is called Balchola, but right now we are about to take it to another level, a deeper level. Apparently this is the cave that belongs to Mari's husband and you're supposed to wait for an invitation. I didn't get a text message, so I don't know if we're invited, but... We're not. But we're gonna see what happens, so hopefully we're not cursed by the gods. I wouldn't jinx any of that stuff, bro. Okay. 
guys. Well, we're in this cave right now. It's a bunch of spiders, bats, and myths. See the light at the end of the tunnel. Whoa! Okay, ready for lunch. Ring the lunch bell, bro. have arrived and I'm gonna be completely honest I don't know really much about where we have arrived but I know that we're here to eat okay so we are in for a serious treat right now so we're right below the mountain of Amboto where Mari the fast goddess lives but right here it's a place of legends as well this is Asador Echavari it has a Michelin star but that's because it's supposed to be one of the best grill houses in the world and the man behind the grill Victor Argonzonis is supposed to be a master of his craft. So we're about to see how he does his magic. Can we use epic here? So this sounds like something of epic proportion. Epic maybe, but it's something of myths and legends for sure. This is gonna be a mythical place. Well, let's demystify and try it on our palate. Let's go. Oh my God. Splurge. La cultura gastronómica aquí en el País Vasco ha sido de muchos años atrás ¿no? y siempre hemos estado ligados a la gran cocina ¿no? y, y la buena comida. ¿no? El concepto de, de la cocina que yo hago pues es el trabajo únicamente con brasa de leña. Es porque yo he conocido siempre desde pequeño en, en casa esto. No había ni gas ni había electricidad para cocinar. Con esta técnica, aun siendo primitiva, se puede hacer una cocina de gran nivel. ¿no? California boys through and through. Delicioso, so good, man. Oh my God, it was supposed to be 13 courses. I think we had about 15 or 16 different things that I lost count. It was so good. The dishes are not super complex. They're just really high quality ingredients with an emphasis on local cuisine. Cooking it over the wood fire mm. kind of imbues everything with this smoky taste. What I thought was awesome about it is that the recipes were, you know, ones that were inspired by his childhood. Great ingredients, high quality. Um, and just generally a really pleasant dining experience. We're gonna see a lot more examples of this in the coming episodes, so stay tuned. There's definitely no shortage of great food shots to come, but for now, we're going to a place that's very special in the Basque world, Aranzasu. We just arrived at Aranzasu, which is a monastery and a place of pilgrimage for believers in the Catholic Church. Apart from its, you know, spiritual significance, it's just an absolutely incredible location. It is jaw-droppingly gorgeous, like you're perched on the top of this rock outcropping thousands of feet above the valley floor, opposite a couple of monoliths of rock. You can just kind of feel the serenity of nature. This is 
one of my favorite places in the Basque Country. It's one of those spots that just exudes this sense of peace. This is really the, the heart of the Basque Country. Um, we are between all the provinces. Vizcaya there, Gipuzkoa here, Araba and Navarra. About 500 years ago, a pastor, a goat pastor, found an image of the Virgin Mary and over the years it's become a place of pilgrimage uh, and now has this really avant-garde church, which you can see behind me, this big tower. I don't know if you remember all those years ago, when we first started Vaga Brothers, like four years ago, we hitchhiked up here and we were trying to like film and our camera kept getting blown over. All of that. Whoa. Each time we tried to say something, like the bells would ring. But it's kind of insane that like three or four years later, we're back up here, full circle again. Well, is it that really that surprising? I mean, this place is what inspired us to start making our travel videos. We made our first travel videos about the Basque Country, and it was all about just like, we'd live in San Sebastian, we'd go off on these little weekend trips. Obviously, we've loved this place for years, and we wanted to make the series come back and kind of finish what we were starting. <laughs> Anyways, this is an incredible place. I hope that uh, so far we've shown you three videos, three days. I hope that you're starting to get why we love the Basque Country. Uh, the, the adventure continues tomorrow. We're going somewhere else, keeping it a secret. We'll show you tomorrow. Make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. In the meantime, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Vaga Brothers for new travel videos every week. As always, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Agur. Next year, English friend, nice girl.